Hi, my name is Cedar Eve. I am from Saugeen First Nation in Wikwemakong, Manitoulin Island. I was born and raised in Toronto, and now I live in Montreal, Quebec. I am a full-time artist. I do beadwork and I paint. As an artist, I like to work intuitively, which means I don't pre-plan anything before I begin. Color is a huge inspiration for me. Sometimes I will close my eyes and choose four tubes of paint or four vials of beads at random and that's what I'll use for my project. It's cool because I'm able to discover different color combinations I wouldn't necessarily think of otherwise. I'm inspired by color mostly, so things in nature like flowers, birds, animals, different kinds of animals. I think I'm just inspired by everything to be honest. <laughs> um, you know, subway station patterns inspire me for my loom work. Um, EKGs, like the heart monitors that you see when you're at a hospital, that's inspired a piece that I've made. Construction worker outfits, that's all inspiration for different pieces that I've made as well. Sports teams and their jerseys as well, some of the color patterns on there are really cool to look at. Within nature, um, I really love the coral reef and deep sea creatures, so the bioluminescence animals. Indian corn's really beautiful to look at. It's almost as though each kernel is a bead. <laughs> if you're able to go out on the land and look around, be inspired by the different animals that you see, the sunsets, the sunrises, the water, if it's winter, you know, the snow, everything can be an inspiration if you allow it to be. Nico Williams is an artist that uses delicate beads to create different objects and he's known for his geometric beadwork so he makes different objects like orbs out of beads. Some of his pieces have different images on it which are related to storytelling within Anishinaabe culture. So it's awesome that he's able to translate these stories into pictures within his beadwork to keep um, these stories alive through his work. An artist that I discovered on Instagram their handle is Sweetgrass Beads, and their work is really cool because it has a lot to do with pop culture. She does really cool beadwork in the flat stitch style. So she makes mostly patches. So she's done a series of Simpsons patches and Frankenstein and Beetlejuice, which is one of my favorite movies. I was really excited when I came across her work and saw a Beetlejuice patch. I thought that was really cool. First Nations culture also inspires her work. Pieces that show women dancing in their regalia, which is really beautiful. What I also like about Sweetgrass Beads patches is that I've noticed she doesn't necessarily do beaded edging. Sometimes it's just thread. And I think that that's a different take on how you can finish your piece. Sky Paul is a beadwork artist. Her handle on Instagram is Running Fox Beads. A lot of her pieces are inspired by nature. She does a lot of floral designs. She's done a swallow um, that has quill work in it and that's really cool. So she's combining two different materials within her flat stitch beadwork. There's a lot of reference to family within her work. Um, there's patches that say auntie or mom. There's a sweet grass patch, uh, cedar and sage. I like her take on representing medicines. Her work is a, an inspiration because it's just so beautifully done. It's so clean. Naloquasis is an artist from the Cree Nation. I wanted to showcase their work because I think it's cool that they are inspired by Cree culture. So they've made uh, an image of a crooked knife and beaded it and caribou prints and made them into patches and earrings. So their work's really great because it reflects their pride in their culture, but also is able to bring that to people outside of their community. I really enjoy their work because it reflects Northern living and is specific to Cree culture. What I enjoy about all four of these artists is that 
there's a sense of humor within their work. There's um, a pride in their culture through not only beating, but through what they're beating. Try to look at as many books as you can and different artists and be exposed to the way that different people create. Um, even if they work in a different medium from you, you can always be inspired by something that you see or hear when you listen to your peers and your friends around you. And it's always nice to be inspired by other artists, but to remember to never copy their work exactly. Every artist works really hard on what they're creating and they put a lot of heart and soul into their work. And it's always nice to just respect their work and their creativity. What's really awesome about beadwork is that it has the potential of becoming various things that are not limited to just designs on mitts and hats. There's so many different things that you can create with these tiny little beads. So I hope that this video has given you some sort of inspiration to begin your projects and that you've seen that there's so many different opportunities for what beadwork could be. Mm -hmm.